Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome to day 19 of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2017. I am so happy that you are here. Well, today's episode is going to be dedicated to my darlings, my husbands, my wives, my sweethearts, those of you who are in love. Today, we are going to be creating a pine cone kissing ball that will be sure to heat up your holiday decor this year. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need an 8-inch styrofoam ball, a few decorative picks, you will need an assortment of pine cones, you will also need some ribbon, any color of your choice, you will need some pine straws, and of course you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting! So the first thing we have to do for our kissing ball is make the loop from which our kissing ball is going to hang. And to do that, we're going to take a length of ribbon, approximately three to four feet. We're going to fold that ribbon into half. And using the top, we're going to make the loop that we need. Now this loop is entirely up to you, whether you want your loop to be long or rather large, or you want that loop to be short, it is entirely up to you. But what I did there was I made a lot not excuse me to stop that loop from unraveling and with the rest of my ribbon what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around my styrofoam ball and making sure that this ribbon is intersecting or cutting my ball in half once I have found the placement of my ribbon what I'm going to do is knot it at the bottom and it would be nice if you had an extra finger to help you I didn't but knotting that ribbon at the bottom and then taking your hot glue gun to place some hot glue on that ribbon to secure it and make sure that ribbon is not going to move now at this point in time my hot glue gun was jammed up and so I will do that off camera but I'm just going to place a few beads of glue going all the way around to secure this ribbon so now that our ribbon has been prepared to hang our kissing ball and that hot glue has dried, it is now time to place our pine cones. And to do this, I'm going to be placing my styrofoam ball into a glass bowl so that I will be able to work with my two hands freely. Now to place our pine cones on our styrofoam ball, we are simply going to use hot glue. Now when I was making mine, I used my high heat glue gun to do this. And of course, it took me additional time to get my pine cones to adhere to my styrofoam ball because what happened was that hot glue of course melted that styrofoam we all know that styrofoam holds heat and then what happens is you have to wait for that styrofoam to form back around that hot glue hence giving you the adhesion that you need and so I would recommend if you are doing this to use a hot glue glue gun that is set to its low setting because what I had to do was place my hot glue and then allow that glue to dry or to cool rather a little before I placed it on my ball and so what I just showed you there was the pattern that I'm going to be using I'm going to continue placing my styrofoam balls going down the ribbon cutting that ball basically in half and once I have finished following that ribbon as a guide I'm going to cut that ball in half again with my pine cones and this will ensure that I will have four sections and the four sections will give me a better view a better vantage point of how to place my pine cones to ensure that I'm using up and covering as much as this white styrofoam ball as possible. And so I'm going to continue this process off camera and then I will be back to tell you what our next step is. 
So here we have our styrofoam ball with all of our pine cones placed. And what we're going to do now is we are going to use pine straws to obscure some of that white foam ball underneath. And to do this, we are going to take our pine straws and instead of just folding them over into halves, we are actually going to connect two of them so that we can have a point of four or a set of four sticking out of our pine cone. So to do this, I'm going to overlap them in an X. I'm going to fold them over one over the other. I'm going to take each half and twist it three times to lock it into place on this side. And then I'm going to fold them up. So I'll do that again so you can see. I'm going to take two of them. I'm going to fold them one over the other. Once I have folded them over, I'm going to twist them individually one, twice, three times on each side. And then I'm going to fold them up over on themselves. So what this is going to do is this is going to give us the much needed coverage to obscure that white foam ball underneath and take up some of that space in between our pine cones. So I'm going to continue making these off camera and then I'll be back to show you how to embed them in your styrofoam. So now that we have finished creating all of our compound pine straws, what we're going to do now is adhere them to our ball. Now because these do not have stems, we cannot simply push them into the ball. What we are going to have to do is create a place for those pine straws to sit. And to do this, I am simply taking my styrofoam knife and I am etching and cutting out a small hole in which I'm going to place my pine straws. Now, what I'm doing here is ensuring that these pine straws are going to fit. And once I have determined that the hole is big enough for them to sit, I am going to place some hot glue into that foam to ensure that I have just another layer of added security when placing this pine straw in there. And once I have placed my hot glue, it is simply a matter of placing my pine straws back into that hole, allowing it to set for a few minutes and then then spreading those fronds out. So we're going to do another one together. I'm taking my styrofoam knife. I am just very randomly and rudimental, rudimentarily <laughs> cutting out a hole for those fronds to sit. Once I have created my hole, I'm going to take my hot glue gun place some hot glue into that hole and then I'm going to insert my pine straws in there allowing them to set for a few seconds and then spreading them apart. So I'm going to continue this process off camera and then I'll be back to tell you what our next step is. So here we have our kissing ball that is complete with our pine straws. And so what we're going to do now is the last and final step, of course, which is completely and totally optional, but I'm going to be placing some picks on my kissing ball. And I saw these picks and loved them because they picked up on the goal of the pine cones as well as enhanced I thought would enhance this with the blues and the reds and the greens and the purples of the confetti on them. And so what I'm going to do is simply place my picks around the equator of my styrofoam ball. I'm going to place one east, one west, one north, one south, going all the way around. And then once I have finished, I'm going to clean this up from any glue fronds that there may be. And then I'll be back to show you what our finished project 
looks like. Well, here you have it, my darlings. Our pine cone kissing ball. Isn't it handsome? I think I would have to say my favorite component of this project will have to be the varying colors of pine cones that we used. Of course, the main color scheme of those pine cones were gold, but you have some that are simply painted gold, some that are painted gold and glittered gold, and then we have our plain brown pine cones, and then to tie that look in all together we used our pine straws which if you think about it this is simply a deconstructed Christmas tree isn't it wonderful and then with those beautiful pics that I found we can almost think of those as our Christmas tree ornaments now for those romantic ones out there we all know that the purpose of a kissing ball similar to a mistletoe is to find yourself under this kissing ball with your honey or your someone special and so I think if we're trying to stoke our fires in the fireplace as well as warm ourselves with the loved of our loved ones this will make for a beautiful addition to your holiday decor this year and so my darlings if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below I'd just like to take this time to thank you for tuning in to day 19 of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2017 and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for day 20 can you imagine and so until then my darlings my loves please do me a favor and take care of yourselves for me know that i love you all mm -hmm. bye now